The Badger State and the Budget Committee. Wisconsin has two prominent members of Congress poised to play a role in the negotiations over avoiding the fiscal cliff. We still want real spending cuts. Paul Ryan What's at stake? and Gwen Moore are at opposite ends of the political spectrum but they may help to find common ground. There's a difference between compromising and capitulation. After losing as the Republican VP contender, Paul Ryan is returning to his congressional seat and his spot as the powerful chairman of the Budget Committee. There's no substitute for actually fixing the problem. But as for now, Speaker of the House John Boehner is leading negotiations and talking compromise. Let's challenge ourselves to find the common ground that has eluded us. Let's rise above the dysfunction and do the right thing together for our country. The term fiscal cliff, first used by Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke, a scenario widely referred to as the fiscal cliff, refers to the situation where Congress cannot come up with a debt reduction deal and it triggers tax increases and automatic spending cuts, a nightmare scenario that both parties want to avoid. It was a Faustian plan put together of uh, betting on the, 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 the members of Congress to come up with a deal and they weren't able to do it. Lawmakers have until the end of the year to strike a deal. Otherwise, on January 1st, the Bush tax cuts expire. That means the average household would see a $3,500 tax increase and the average middle class family would see a $2,000 increase. The spending cuts would trim a trillion dollars from federal departments over nine years, with half coming from the defense budget. Moore says the election showed that voters want to see cuts and tax increases on the wealthiest. There is a mandate to get more into 